It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and this is a little look at some of the beers I picked up whilst I was recently at Hook Norton Brewery. I went there a week Monday ago, uh, early, very early September. What a fantastic, fantastic brewery. Probably one of the most historic, if not the most historic brewery in the UK. Used to be run by a steam engine. The steam engine is still in place. Uh, it's a gravity-fed brewery uh, designed in, in it was, I think it was built in 18, between 1898 and the 1900s. If you're around the Hook Norton area, or if you want to go and see one of the most fantastic brewery buildings in the UK, then, then you should go and visit Hook Norton Brewery. They do brewery tours, so um, go online, book yourself on for a brewery tour. Um, there's a fantastic restaurant there. A fantastic bottle shop, a bit of a farm shop going on too. You can buy different meats and cheeses and yeah, all's good. Wines, gins, beers, fantastic. But I, I chose to buy this uh, box of beer here, the 12 beer pack Hook Norton Brewer, Brewery Co Limited. Of course, for me, you see old hooky generally in the supermarket, um, but but. I want to try their other beers and it's very difficult unless you're buying online i'm not really an online purchaser if i'm honest i'm more of a kind of like go and see it go get a feel for it if i'm really impressed by the place and i generally come away with a few souvenirs that's that that's my kind of thing and this is my souvenir from hook norton um people are saying they're 12 days they're 12 days kind of christmas pause it is absolutely fantastic i think that's in here too so uh, yeah let's have a look um, let's have a detailed look at some of their beers then every single one of their beers has got a branded bottle cap apart from one so let's start with that then that look they've all got detailed black bottle caps with wheat malt and wheat on apart from this one here silver bottle cap uh, join the dark side this is hook norton brewery co limited crafty fox a black a black ipa black ipa at 4.4 percent abv that's quite interesting Oxymoron time. Dark in appearance, pale by nature, with a heady mix of hops and double roasted malt. Enjoy. <laughs> Something which kind of started in the United in the United States with Stone Brewing Company. Now you've got traditional British breweries that have been brewing beer for well over a hundred years, producing black IPAs. What a great kind of time to be alive in the beer world. Ah, here is Old Hooky, 4.6% ABV. Old Hooky is a beautifully balanced beer, fruity by nature with a well-rounded body and a suggestive echo of crystal malt. Try it as an accompaniment of meat dishes. Cheers, this is kind of their flagship beer. Everyone knows, if you're in the beer game, you're gonna know of Old Hooky. I like it, really good. I had a little drop on cask and it was fantastic. Off the Hook IPA, this is 4.3% ABV, all pale malts and a sympathy of English and American hops, offer a strong combination of citrus and orange notes, delivering a full-on refreshing beer. Cheers. Uh, J.W. Clark, great-grandson, great-great-grandson of John Harris, founder of Hook Norton Brewery. There we go. Lots to do while you're down in Oxford these days. You can go in Clarkson's pub, the the farmer's dog is only 17 miles away from Hook Norton. So you can have a day out, you can have a, like, a, like an afternoon at the brewery. You can then go to his pub, uh, G Jeremy Clarkson's pub if you like. You can also then go to his brewery, which has got a tap room there if you want to. Then you've got the, uh, what's that other place called? The Diddley Shop crop shop farm shop or whatever it's called you can go there as well 
Yeah, there's lots to do in that kind of area with beer. Uh, 3.4% ABV, this is Hooky Best Bitter. Hooky is a subtly balanced amber bitter, hoppy on the nose and malted on the palate. The classic session beer, eminently drinkable. Cheers. Oh, now I think my wife reviewed this many years ago. This is Hook Milton's Double Stout at 4.8% ABV. This used to be in Tesco. I remember this being in Tesco. First brewed in 1898, this smooth and full-bodied stout has a refreshing hoppy aftertaste, a rich aroma of a sweet chocolate, espresso coffee, herbal hops, and double dark malt. Cheers. Oh, doesn't that sound good? Next up, Hooky Mild, 2.8% ABV. A dark chestnut coloured ale full of roast malt flavours complemented with superb dry hop aromas. 2.8% ABV, 500 millilitre bottle. This one may not be so much for me, this. I, I, I don't like them too low in the ABV. Hook Norton, they probably nailed it. But that's the type of beer that ends up on my shelf or at the back of the fridge for months. And I'm like, I'm going to get round to it. I'm going to get round to it. And I kind of, I never do. It takes me such a long time. What's next then? Hooky Gold, 4.1% ABV. Pale and zesty. Pale, uh, delicate, delicately fruity and refreshing. Moderate bitterness and a spicy, noble aroma. Hooky Gold marries the traditional English hops, Goldens and Fuggles, with its American offshoot, Williamette. The king of aroma hops. Very cool, this, isn't it? Very cool. Oh, now this is a winter ale, 4.2% ABV, called Greedy Goose. A delightfully full flavoured beer, rich to the palate and displays a rounded fruity aroma with hints of dark fruit. A great beer for both the goose and the candor. This sort of brewery got me into beers in the first place. I'd travel about, I'd see these different beers. You'd see them in weather, not, not so much Hook Norton, but you'd see all the different beers in weather spoons and you'd be like, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? I remember being really excited by Young's like banana bread beer when I when I first started getting into real ale, going in weather spoons. I was like, banana bread, oh, we'll try some of that, you know. And I've always had that kind of intrigue, that, that kind of, ooh, what's that over there? Rather than, I'll have yet another pint of Carlin, please. I don't understand that sort of drinker. You know, the Fosters or the Carlin drink. I'll have one of those, I'll have it again. I'll, have, I'll drink it for 40 years of my life, you know. I don't understand that sort of drinker. I'm more of a like, let's try that, 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 and that. And what's that over there? I'll try that as well. Right, this is the Red Rye, 4.7% ABV, described as the world's best rye. Rich fruity notes of dark fruit with a citrus twist, red rye at night, drinker's delight. That's an old farmer's saying in the UK. Red sky at night, farmer's delight, red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Nearly lost two bottles of beer. This is Haymaker, 5% ABV. Haymaker is a strong pale ale of distinctive taste, best served lightly chilled. Plenty of golden hops gives it a certain something extra, like sunshine dance, dancing on the tongue. Cheers. 5% ABV. You can imagine having a few pints of that and somebody giving you or you you dishing out a big old haymaker. I think there's a bit of um there's a bit of uh Bit of funniness there in that name, I quite like it. Are we going to lose this box of beer? I hope not. Right, this is flagship, 5.3% ABV. 5.3, this is more like an English IPA. 
Originally brewed to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the Battle of Trafalgar, a proper India Pale Ale with a fruity mouthfeel, sweet aroma and powerful Admiral Hot Punch. Oh yeah, that's right up my street. There's the bottle cap. And this is it. This is the beer that, out of all the comments that come through on my Hook Norton video, everybody was like, 12 days. 12 days is probably Hook Norton's best beer. I've never tried it, to be honest. I, I hadn't even heard of it until you guys started commenting on it in the comments box below. On my brewery tour video, 5.5% ABV, 12 days is a strong dark brown beer offering a dominantly malty palate with nutty overtones giving way to a lyrical sweetness that speaks for its strength. Cheers. Oh yes, 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 yes. So, all of these beers will be making their way to my YouTube channel. Um, 12 different beers from, from Hook Norton. It was, I think, on a personal note, it was the right thing to do while I was there, was to pick up 12 of their different beers. I can now, but it worked for me. I can bring them home. I have brought them home. Review them on YouTube over time. Just chuck one in every now and again. And hopefully you like the videos. Um, I did, I've been doing brewery showcases lately. I've been doing like Brains, Evan Evans, um, other other breweries too, but that's just four beers. Like like Brains Brewery now, they're down to four or five core beers. I couldn't do a showcase of all of these, could I? I'd be like I'd be plastered after my seventh seventh bottle. So I'm going to do all of these individually. I hope you like the video. It's a look at Hook Norton's beers again. Please, if you can, it's. Brilliant down there. Go down to the brewery, have a look, book a brewery tour. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching. Boom. Cheers.